Do you know? How to calculate the volume of this wedge-like solid? Or maybe the volume of this prism? Also how about calculating the volume of this broken beam? Well, these objects' volume can be calculated. If you know how to evaluate double integral or understand the Fibonacci theorem. Of course you must know the general regions to evaluate the volume of these objects. For example, the general region of this prism is a triangle. The triangle in the xy plane, bounded by the x-axis, and the lines y equals x, and x equals 1. Now if you double integrate, these general region, you get the area of this triangle. But we don't want the area, we want the volume of this whole prism. Prism, whose top lies in the plane having this equation. In more precise way, find the volume of the prism, whose base is the triangle in the xy plane, bounded by the x-axis and the lines, y equals x, and x equals 1, and whose top lies in the plane having this equation. Now if you bring this equation of plane in the double integral, integrate it over the range of x and y coordinates, then you get the full volume. Okay, note it down. If you use the double integral on bounded regions only, you shall get the area of that region. But if you put the function of a plane and integrate over the same bounded region, you get the full volume. Now, let us try to calculate the volume of beam. First, you should know the general region, for this it's a region bounded by square, in the xy plane. Now if you double integrate over this general region, you only get the area of this square. But we want the volume. For that, you must know the equation of curve Z. In this case the equation is given by now let us plot how this equation looks. Isn't it beautiful? So the projected square on this beautiful equation gives the full volume of the beam. Alright, it's time for finding volume of the wedge. Our wedge lies above the region bounded by the two curves and the x-axis. And, if we know that our wedge lies beneath the surface, given by the equation of Z, then double integrating these closed region, we get the full volume of our wedge. This is just the visual representations of double integral. In the next video, I shall describe how to find the limit of integration and apply Fabini's theorem. So stay tuned and bye!